So we've had a surprising victory um, in these couple of games. Today we face Milan and Bolenga uh, in two games which probably decide whether we've got a chance of finishing top half, mid-table or bottom half of the table. Let's roll the intro and find out exactly what's been going on. In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with me, we actually beat Juventus 2-1. Greenwood and Volpato on the score sheet. They got um, a penalty to pull one back, but it wasn't good enough. We then obviously lost to Juventus 2-0. It was a comfortable victory for them. Um, but today we face Milan and Bollinger. Um, obviously Juventus have been struggling all season, but they're actually now up in seventh. We do have a very slim chance of getting seventh, but hopefully we can finish in the top 10 as we face AC and Bollinger, who are right behind us in the league. So one winnable any results good and the team to do that is Sinisalo in goal Peria Murphy and Dakil at the back Esbrand and Zach out wide Helgerson and Trevet with 8-bit and Volpato behind Greenwood up top if you can't remember Zach was somebody who we did sign in the summer played a lot of games for us and then got injured for quite a while. Um, so we are good to go back with him. He is back. He is raring to go. And he is playing on that right-hand side. So we are good to go. And here we do go. <clears throat> Any kind of result is good. Unfortunately, Dakil's already got a yellow card, which isn't necessarily good. But I'll be happy with a draw. We are at home, so we do have a slight chance of more of a draw than anything. Um, slight chance of an upset. Very unlikely, though. I imagine it's going to be a bit of a whitewash. Poop. Pulisic, Akanya, we've managed to push it out for a corner. Let's just try and keep them at bay for as long as possible. And the longer we stop them from scoring, the more chance we have of nicking a goal. Here's Murphy to Dakil. Vapton Greenwood loses out to Torres and he plays it out to Pulisic. Pulisic, Peria manages to get rid though, but it's fallen to Torres and Leo, Rafael Leo has made it 1 0. And we've held on for 20 minutes, is all we could manage. But realistically, a 1-0 defeat against Milan isn't too bad. We've just got to hope that morale doesn't drop too much. But as long as it's 1-0, again, we've still got a chance of nicking something from the game. And now that I've said that, Pulisic's going to come through and get a penalty or score. Score. Okay. It's a goal. A co for has made it 2-0. 
We are going to shout. We're going to demand a bit more. I think we're playing reasonably well, but we could do a bit better. We're going to go... Uh, outstretched arms you can go out there and play without pressure everybody expects us to lose losing isn't the end of the world it's really going to be the next game that, that you know we've got to win but here is Helgerson, ooh, forcing the keeper to make a save, and it comes back to him, Volpato, back to Helgerson, to Zach, to Murphy, Pieri, can he find a ball across? He does towards 8-bit, who's unable to get his shot away. He's also picked up a knock, so we will now be bringing him off the pitch. Uh, Robino's coming on. Volpalo's also coming off, as is Greenwood. So we're changing the top three. Uh, that will do for now. So we've just made some changes to the top three. Hopefully that will push us on a little bit more. But these narrow defeats to the big teams mean just shows that we have progressed on so I don't know why they bother with that goal line technology one because it never is in if it was in on the odd occasion it'd be worth doing but it never is and boys and girls that's a 2-0 Defeat, we were underdogs. I'm happy with that. I don't know why they're not. Um, we will be back for the Bollinger game in just a second. So here we are ready for the game against Bollinger, <clears throat> where hopefully we can get a result. We've got Sinisalo in goal, Perry, Murphy and Guano at the back. Esperand and Zach with Helgerson and Trevor in midfield, eight ball, Volpato and Greenwood up top. Let's see what happens here, shall we? We're hopeful for a victory. Is it likely? I don't know. But we've got as good a chance as any and one of their players just goes down. Should be yellow card for diving there. Surely. We've got every chance here of doing something. And I mean... For the last game, I don't think we played particularly badly. We had a couple of chances. We stopped them... Um, and it was against AC, so you kind of expect them to to do it, don't you? This time, however, we expect a result. So I'm thinking I'm going to go positive now to try and push up a little bit more. As a uh, we try and close them down. 8-bit almost got in there, but it has gone out Ferguson. Xerxes, was that offside? It was. Joshua Xerxes. See, he's five-star in our team. You know, we don't deserve to be in this league at the moment with the team we've got. And we're holding our own. We've pretty much avoided relegation now. So that was the key for this season. Try and stay in the league and build 
maybe a little bit next year with the money that the league has given us. Which, you know, we're breaking even at the moment, really, in the league. We're, well, not breaking even. We're making a little bit of money with the prize money and things, but not much for the first time since the save began, though. We're not hemorrhaging money, so being careful now, yes, it may. It's in! Yes, Volpato! Oh, you beautiful beautiful human being get in yes as i said being careful now is really key we could have got out and spent on the um on installments and and got a team that are capable of qualifying in towards Europe, but I want to build this club in a sustainable way. I want it, I don't want to be in debt, you know, if I can avoid it, especially transfer debt. If the club gets in debt in other ways, that's not on me. Transfer debt is on me. So, you know, if we've got things going out, I want things coming in. So that's the way that I see it at the moment. We're going to throw Murphy out wide and bring on Mitev in the central defence position. Helgerson's going to cut... Maybe not. Zach is still coming back, so Fiera is going to come on. Mox... And Rousman also coming on. And we'll leave it there for now. Just freshening things up a little bit. Trying to shore, shore it up. Just hold on now. 15 minutes to go. And Murphy's through here. Can he slot Mox through? And was just tipped over the bar. Oh, hoo, hoo. we got a corner. Chance to make it 2-0. Ball comes in towards the back post, unable to find a white shirt. But Rasmussen is going to gather, plays it to Trevet, who pumps the ball over the top towards Abel, who's unable to get there. But Murphy does. Plays it to Helgerson. Back into Murphy, who's brought down there, surely. And that is a free kick. 8-bit swings it round, but unable to find a white shirt. Kind of threw away that chance. And now I'm going to bring him off for Condello. Great challenge. Managed to get it clear. We mustn't mustn't let them in now we've done all the hard work here's Mitrovic to Trevet Trevet over the top towards eight ball who's unable to get there but Piera plays it to Murphy back to Trevet to Mitvek who's unable to again find a white shirt and pulling a coming really back on the attack and they play it back and it's blocked out for a corner Please do not. We need this win, and we've another corner. Pierre manages to get ahead on it. It's played out to Asmurazan. It's blocked away. Mox now plays it to Ramasan to Fiera back to Ramasan. Ramsa Rasmusan. Plays it over the top towards Mox, who's unable to get his head on it, but it's fallen to Helgerson. Rasmussen, Mox, yes, and that seals the victory. 2-0. And that could push us closer up the league. That gives us an opportunity now to really push for this top half.
at the moment it says we're in 14th but we're back within touching distance of the top 10 and that's key so with that being said i think we're safe i think it's safe to say we're safe now we are 13 no four five six, uh 17 points clear with yeah so we are safe now it's just down to where we finish let's have a look at the schedule so we're gonna come back for Fiorentina and Brescia in the next episode we'll play Napoli offline but if you've enjoyed that please leave a like subscribe if you're new I've been the mask manager and until next time I have spoken <laughs>